Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Place Transport Fever. This is episode 8. And in previous episode we have built our main line and actually upgraded our food business and production. And I'm continuing literally where I left off because, well, a lot of things to be done. And if we inspect a little bit, we can see that our food production is picking up a lot. And uh, this uh, factory is up to the production and obviously the production at the farm is just hilarious. So a lot of things waiting to be picked up while supply here is being, here is being mediocre to me. That means we need to either institute more trains, which is something that I'm going to do. And also we would probably need to upgrade our current trains, but first I was thinking on actually increasing also the demand in other cities. So I was thinking adding Chipping Sodbury and also uh, adding Meltham to the rotation of the food. I mean, we have a food plant here as well and uh, that might be picking up. We will investigate, but first things first, I was thinking reworking this bridge, making this navigable. And maybe I will be then supplying some food from this farm over here at Winchcombe via the waterways and uh, I don't know. It seems like a little bit longish route to me for, for it to be taking, but I'm willing to consider it. But for the time being, we have a lot of food getting onwards there and I mean, it's not happening. So, in order for our business to be picking up to a degree. I will first do, sorry for a little bit of panning there, and by the way guys this is the first episode that I'm, I've been recording live for ages, so I'm gonna set things into motion. And as you can see we are 1 million in depth, so what I'll do is I'll up the depth a little bit, because what I want to do is I want on the free Brie food bulk to institute a replacement and I believe the Klondike actually is a cargo ship so we will be upgrading all the ships to Klondikes as they come along so I'm gonna be keeping that screen here until they get replaced so that should up our capacity significantly and the same thing goes for the Cockermouth Cockermouth sorry I'll be putting Klondikes. They are a little bit, you know, pricey endeavor, but ultimately we do want to up the capacity on those lines. Because the ships are rather slow and, you know... So, hold on. What are you, are you waiting for something? You are... Cockermouth food bulk and you are Cockermouth food bulk. Okay. Yeah, I guess we have a little bit of the queue going on here. I think the queue will be clearing itself out rather shortly. Our train is ever delivering the livestock and then I'm hoping it will be picking up the food, which is great. Out of 12 that was waiting, so yeah. These trucks are being are delivering to Brearley on a regular basis, so I'm hoping that would be fine. Ships are queuing a little bit, but once when once they start rolling, I won't be overly concerned. Okay, so that takes care of the food business here. Food business there, I'm a little bit worried that this might be stagnating, so I'm actually gonna include this train is what one? This train is grain. Do I have another train coming up? And that's the goods train. But these ones are actually being held up. So I will actually introduce one more. I'm thinking uh, Prussian and eight cars. I'm thinking I'm gonna be putting goods wagon two, four, six eight and new sunshine will be going on to the food line so 
So hopefully one additional train will play a role. And I'm expecting, okay, you two might be a little bit, you know, waiting for each other. Let's see. Maybe you, you won't be. Yeah, just trot along. Yeah, you will be waiting only a little bit though. Well, I don't care to be honest. We'll see, at Oakham Central everything is seeming to be okay. We have one more ship unloading here. And that's our Klondike taking some livestock actually. And we have Phoenix Tunes waiting to unload some food. So I'm expecting that this should pick up beautifully. Okay, and then we have another sawmill, but um, that's something that I'll be taking on further along. For the time being, my primary purpose is to find more customers for the food, because obviously the food needs to get distributed quite quickly now. So, Cockermouth we got. Let's see if we can fix Meltham. Let's pause it, we have 1.45 million, because I fully intend to demolish this bridge. Main connection will be interrupted. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of counting on that. Sorry. And you who have thought of being building, sorry to disappoint, mate. Now, let's see. Uh, medium street. Can we actually make something here meaningful? Like, raise it up. Not by a long shot. Okay. Hold on. What did I now just do? Costs. I don't want to see the cost. Sorry. Yes. Um, and I have a feeling I might be tinkering a little bit here with the connections here because I will need to be deleting this one. Oh boy, this will be pricey. Is there another way how I could connect this? Hmm. Could I be connecting he it here instead? And so it's a little bit cheaper. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see how we could pull this off. Could we pull it off somehow? Somewhere here. Three buildings will be removed, make it a steel bridge, raise it up until the water is navigable. Okay, I hope this won't be too hideous. Well, technically it won't, so what too much slope? Okay, so this isn't too much slope and the water is still navigable. Um, I think I'll take it actually. I'll take that one, yes. And as far as you go, well, sorry guys, your bridge was, I mean, terminated abruptly. I'm very sorry for that. Here's a street to make it all better. One building will be, okay, something li along these lines. I hope you will figure out what you need to do. Now, given that this is now main connection into town, I could be doing something like docks here, hopefully not interrupting the traffic too much. Let's see, docks. And I think this would be a little bit bigger hub because it should be connecting also Blythe and all things from that canton over there. So I'm kind of thinking let's put you somewhat like this. And do you, would you connect to this one? No, you wouldn't at the moment. And of course, we don't want a passenger, we want a cargo, and we want two terminals at least. But uh, let's put the road first. 
where let me just see where would I be placing that guy somewhere along this path hold on you see I'm really interested to see if it would connect no 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 hmm it would be extremely beneficial that I don't need to make shuttles for that little bit of road here and there. What if I place it on the other side, huh? Somewhere here? Would that? No, that wouldn't. You know what? I'll actually worry about that problem when I get there. I mean, we are nowhere here connecting, so let's just align this port nicely. Actually, I think it's good that I keep it a little bit so it doesn't interfere with the bridge over there. Yeah. Now, streets. We were talking about streets. So, in this case, I think it would be more like a road. Or... Ah. Ah, let's keep it on the street level, shall we? Yeah. We got a connection here, so okay. And that means pretty much once we get. Once I get the cargo truck station, I could be plopping. I mean, here I'm considering even a rail station, so I would be plopping this one here. Because I fully intend to distribute the goods from here onwards. Cool, and then the food needs to end up in the commercial district, which is over here. And actually, it's not that bad because if I plop somewhere here in the middle, I could be doing actually quite a service. Yeah. So, how about I create a truck stop somewhere? Oh, six buildings. No, 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 not six buildings. How about here? Do I capture everything? Yes, more or less. Well, here it would be better, but I would need one million. Hmm, how about here? Hold on. I do want it to be delivering in the center, and I would be covering most of these guys. Maybe it's just worth taking up the cost and, you know, let's borrow some more cash. See how easy it is to go into debt when you're doing a construction? I mean, five buildings, come on. Okay, let's put you over here, shall we? Good. That means you are now my prime distributor of food and you two streets Please, you know, just connect. Have a nice way going around your daily business. Okay, cool. Now, uh, rather than pausing, I think we can actually engage the traffic to run. And I need to be, I guess, reassigning some of the ships to the Meltham food delivery, I would say. And that one would need to go, oh boy, all the way from Upper Brearley. Well, you know, for starters, I only needed to deliver every now and then. So I'm thinking rather than taking, for example, Kustha, where are you, Kustha? You are delivering food to Brearley. Hold on. I need someone who is actually returning. And he's carrying livestock. So, and you are carrying what? You're carrying food. So, you know what? Mario. Since you're the pretty one, the only one upgraded. So, let's just borrow some more. Uh, Mario, since you are pretty much the only one upgraded, I will be taking you to a new line. Congratulations. 
you will be going from line manager new line upper Brearley to start with and then all the way down to Meltham. Wow, that's a long route. Upper Brearley, full load, hopefully. I don't know if full load would break my stuff. No, let's keep it on loaded if available. And we will call mel mel food bulk. And since it's Meltham, let's keep it a nice I don't know. Uh Let's keep it on this color, shall we? So, vehicles, we said we wanted uh, Mario, right? Mario, you will be going to the food bulk. And you will not gonna be going to Meltham Holt, you will be going to Upper Brearley. So you can actually deliver some livestock. That should be taking two problems with one turn, hopefully. Good. So, that puts two of you, actually. To bring to making some deliveries and I'm thinking I will need another ship and I'm trying to figure out which I would take for this uh, melt and food bulk so one is the ground fork ship Mario and another would be okay beep, beep we have a new vehicle oh a tram see yeah just whatever Okay, so you are sharing the connection with... Uh, okay, I get it. Well, hopefully we will be phasing out the Brearley food bulk because that one is being delivered by... currently by other ships, so... You, Phoenix Tunes, also go on the Meltham food bulk, will you? And you're not going to Meltham Holt. I want you to also go to actually Upper Brearley, please. Oh, this is nice, ship collision. Well, we have a bunch of Klondikes coming in and... Come on, what happened here? Kusta. You are the Kusta and you are Phoenix Tunes. Okay, Phoenix Tunes, you are on the Melham football. Good. I'm actually thinking more and more should be going. So I'm actually gonna put only two on the, the, the upgraded ones I'm putting now on the Meltham food bulk. So, Kusta, you are going with Phoenix. Because as you see, our vehicles are now getting stressed because of the deliveries here. So, we actually need to buy more road vehicles. So we'll be taking more can stats. And we will be putting all of you, gentlemen, on the Oakham food delivery. It's a short route, but I think we need more of you to keep things well supplied and running. So let's just take a look at the first of you, shall we? Road vehicle 18, I think, right? Let's take a look how the ride looks. Okay, and it's always funny to see them going why are you going to the reverse? You reverse and you reverse. You're going first to going some sightseeing back to work. Okay, so 
Actually, we can remove this. You see, we have lots of food waiting at Oakham, so we might as well, you know, be actually fixing that first. Making sure that all food gets delivered. We'll be doing a short ride along on this guy. And while we're doing the ride along, I'll do things that I always do. I'll repay my loans, hopefully. Or actually, I think I need to keep being borrowed because I want my ships to be upgrading, yes. Yeah, we have another ship coming in. I don't expect everything to fully pick up because I have just now gotten some Klondikes and those Klondikes need to be loaded and properly things need to be transferred, so... But we are already taking care of, you know, business and deliveries and all that jazz, so I'm hoping that this will be nice. Okay, we have another ship coming in. At some point I will be upgrading um, Oakham because I have a feeling I will be using it a lot more. Which reminded me, I never set vehicles to uh, deliver food for Meltham. I never set up the line for Meltham food delivery. So actually we need to take care of that business as well. Okay, well We'll just let this guy, you know, go and deliver his food on his merry way and then we will be taking care of that line as well. And then I would be creating another line for, I think, Chipping Sudbury. Okay, we are coming into the warehouse and cha-ching! Okay, and I'm hoping another ship get up, gets upgraded. At least he should. Come on, let me see that Klondike. Okay, well... I believe I have set the replacement. Okay, it's 25 and I guess the vehicle isn't old enough, right? Nine years. Okay, well, yeah. That's another thing that I might want to be considering. And you are which one? You are asymmetrical? No, you are Alex H. Okay. Fair enough, 25%, but I mean, ultimately you should get replaced okay let me see the other fleet that's melon food bulk, cockermouth food bulk vehicles only one Moomin is and Moomin is let me guess also a newer ship or oh no it's 14 years so I'm hoping that it gets replaced right come on the moment you unload and yeah Okay, so I guess on the co cocker mouth food bulk we can actually back and no replacements anymore. And on Brearley we'll just keep it for the time being, I guess. I mean, Brearley I will be reassigning anyway. For the time being at least. We have food. Okay, this looks better. Do we have any ships that's already going? Okay, Cocker Mouse Food Ball, 25. 25, good. So, that's Cocker Mouse Food Ball. And that's Cocker Mouse Food Ball. So, I have, I believe I have three ships on Cocker Mouse Food Ball. No, I have four. Okay. You, Sunshine, you will be reassigned to the Meltham food bulk and you are going to Meltham Holt. Yes, please. 
Good. Then, let's take a look at the chip. Oh no, we said we need to build Meltham. Um, yes, Meltham line, new line. Hold on. Where are you? Line manager, new line. We need a distribution line, and that's a station from. You will be going from here over to the middle of the town where I have conveniently plopped the new station. Now, where did I plop it? Hold on. I hope I didn't plop it. Oh, I did plop it here. Yes, great. So, load if available. And um, yeah, we will call you Mel Food Delivery. Great. And we will be keeping you like, I'll keep you on Azure because, yeah. So, that means I want to be taking new vehicles. By road vehicles, we'll take Canstat and we'll take, I don't know, three of you for the time being, giving the frequency of delivery, Mel Food Delivery. And when it comes to Mel Food Delivery, I could actually rather upper Meltham. That's this one, right? Full load. I don't want you guys to be trotting unless I actually have something for you. Good. So that takes care of Meltham. Now, Chipping Sudbury is actually a new uh, thing, and I'm actually thinking to we want to improve the city, so we will be connecting it at some point, sooner rather than later. And I'm gonna keep doing the same thing as I do with ports. I'm gonna create a single port, I guess, because I don't know how many lines I would be running from here. I could be running a few, actually. Then maybe it would be actually beneficial I connect it from here. Because if I connect it here, where are my industrial areas and... Okay, so it's over here. So it might be actually beneficial if I connect this one somewhere around here. Because I would be taking partially... I wouldn't, but... Hmm... Yeah, but I'm actually thinking if I get the deliveries, I could have another train line going over there, delivering stuff somewhere here, and then I could have a small line, because the residential area is on other part of town anyway. So how does it look in terms of delivery towards Brearley? Yeah, winding, long winding road. Mm, yeah, and I want to have this on this side. But I'm thinking a single terminal should do it. Something like that. And if I'll be getting cargo train deliveries, I think it's better that it's on that end. It will be much clearer because the passenger lines might be blocking the way, yeah. It's not the most practical, but... And I don't care if these docks are behind navigable waters, but... Hold on, let me just see navigable waters. Yeah, they are navigable anyway. Okay, so let's plop it somewhere around here. Connect the road. Hold on, not streets, give me roads, right? Medium country road. Something along these lines. Oh, A35. Nice. So, yeah, I have really thought this one through. I executed it beautifully. Well, never mind. Let's just plop this one. Terrain alignment collision. You're gonna find me, aren't you? You know what? That's why we have my favorite tool here to assist. 
Now let's do some smootheroo first. Smootheroo, where are you? Something like this. I prefer things to go smooth. So, road. We put the road here. And then I'll do something like this. Yeah. Something like this. And then I'll be plopping the truck depot over here. You should be catching up everything. Uh, yes, you are. Great. Okay, and that means that you need to be delivering to residential and commercial. And I want to really deliver it right in the smack center of it. Because this has been proven for me to be a good strategy so far. Not that I have a lot of that experience or anything. Hold on. Industrial. Five buildings will be removed. How do I feel about it? Well, you know, if I were to discuss my feelings, I wouldn't care. Plop it. Done. Great. Now, depot. Road depot. And we'll be putting road depot somewhere where it's actually cheap to build. And actually not too far from anything like that. So, yeah. Something along these lines will work nicely. Okay, so I'll make a new line here. Let's make a new line and that one will be going from... No, not Chipping Sudbury, sorry. What am I thinking? Remove. Add station from Chipping Sudbury sidings to Chipping Sudbury Annex. Full load. All. And we'll be calling you... Shipping Sudbury food delivery will give you a nice color of let's say this pale red ish uh, and we will be giving you for, for starters only two road vehicles because it will take some while until we actually you know see these coming and then we need to define a new line which will be going from Brearley to Chipping Sodbury in terms of getting the food. So Upper Brearley, come on, new line, Upper Brearley to Chipping Sodbury, Upper Brearley. I'll just keep it load if available and we'll call it Shipping Sudbury Food Bulk. And since we put the pale color on the Chipping Sudbury, we're gonna put it here as well. So, I'm thinking of these two ships. You are going immediately to the Chipping Sudbury Food Bulk and you will be going not here but to the Upper Brearley. And you, sir, will be also reassign your still at Oakham Central waiting for something. How about then I just reassign you to the Chipping Sudbury food bulk and you also go to the upper Brearley. Yes. And as it far as I'm concerned in terms of Brearley food bulk, I guess, this line can actually now officially be terminated. Great. details the ships are still old so I'm gonna now set the reassignments in terms of chipping Sodbury food bulk you two gentlemen you will get replaced yes set the vehicle Klondike yes 25% so the moment you arrive at chipping Sodbury you two should get replaced good I believe that should take care of business so let me just see we have two lines yeah two of them coming here and good so 
so upper brewer lip will be pretty busy. Oakham is be it's having things well distributed, I see. So let's see just Oakham, how is the Oakham doing? Oak, Oakham, 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 Oakham food delivery. You guys full load, okay. Meltham food delivery, you are also on full load. Okay, I think we're actually pretty in a good shape, except these guys are, I mean, overproducing clearly. Now they have reduced the production. Whew. What are you doing? You have delivered food. So I have plenty of cash. Uh, let me just repay my loans for the time being. And what I'm thinking of doing, actually, I will be going in the loan shortly, but what I'm thinking of doing is actually upgrading my capacity. Let me just see how my passengers are doing. How many I have? 105 waiting to ride the main line. Do I have a train in coming soon? Not really. Here. Ooh. You, sir, are a long time coming. Yeah. How about I pause for the time being and I'm gonna introduce one more. Let me just see how much is this, are my lines making me? Charts, not the company. I'm looking here for the lines. Balance. The main line is making us, well, significantly, and the Oakenbury food line is actually making us metric crap ton of cash. So, yeah. The main line, let's see, vehicles. How full are you guys? 55, 55, 55, 55. 55, 41, 25. Okay, so you are pretty well covered. So if I now introduce a single train from here, and that's the one that I plan, hold on. Let's see, you are going to the third railing. So I'm gonna be putting a depot temporarily, of course. Depot, 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 um, temporarily. Here. And you will be creating another. I need to take a loan, obviously. Not that, but, oh, finances. Give me some cash. So, buy trains. We will, oh, this is 100 kilometers an hour train, but it's pricey. Yeah, I'll take one more Prussian for the time being. I'll take one more Prussian, buy, and then I will be taking, how many do I take on average? Hold on, the main line, vehicles, two, four, five, five. So I'll be taking five of these cars, Bavarian, oh, not Bavarian, one, two, three, four, five. And you are going on the main line from starters. Okay, trot along. Okay, this guy just came in. So hold on, you might actually be... Let's see. Mm -hmm. Signals. Okay, you are going. Good. And you will be picking up this 55 passengers, which will be happily obliging the service. Hold on. 
Where is my other train? Let's try and eyeball this. Yeah, I think it will be fine. Okay. We'll see. If the money will be tight, I might actually disband some of these trains and upgrade them for a bigger one. So let's repay the cash for the time being. Okay, that basically increases our business in terms of food. Where are you two ships? You are going to Upper Brearley. God, you're slow. Okay, so our farm is producing a lot and it's getting delivered here. Now we don't have a too much surplus of food because we have the Cockermouth food ball getting picked up. Great. You know, I, I'm almost tempted that people get here on the full load. All the lines coming in here should be on the full load. So Meltham food bulk, Upper Brearley, full load. Cockermouth food bulk, full load. And then we have Chipping Sodbury somewhere. CHS, food bulk. Uh, Chipping Sodbury, full load. Good. That will be meaning that the demand here should be much stronger. Good. And the production here is good, it's just my ability to transfer things that is now hindering me. How much is waiting? Livestock a lot, grain. Hold on, do I have an oak brie? Livestock and grain on the oak brie food line. Do I have oak brie food line? Oak brie food line. No, that's only... I don't know how grain got up there. Oh well, whatever. But we have livestock and grain, so they are being picked up. Grain train just left. Hmm. I will really need bigger trains for bigger paychecks to start rolling in, so yeah. Let's repay. Yeah, I believe I have relieved this node somewhat in the Oakham and I believe I have successfully upgraded Oakham, you know, food deliveries and all that jazz. And I'm now thinking as a next step, I will probably be wanting to connect Oakham via train and then maybe chipping Sodbury via something. And then we have gotten this nice ferry, so I want to get, be getting into the oil business as well. Oh, look, we can actually repay some more cash. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially debt free. And I cannot think of a better way to actually end the episode with that being said. So, yeah, let's just once again think about okay so yes uh, I think I will be ending this episode we have been doing a little bit of tweaking and reassigning ships so that's for sure uh, I'm hoping that my two CH CHS food bulk ships will finally get a chance to be upgraded you are waiting for what ah you're waiting for this one to get its full well, you know, move in, stop moving and go.
And you are also on the Cockermouth football. Yeah, Cockermouth football, 3 mel football, 4 and CHS football. So I'm actually getting tempted to, since they are already queuing here, I'm tempted to put you going on CHS food bulk so that you start delivering over there. Yeah. So we don't get too long of queues. So you're going to Chipping Sudbury Exchange. Oh, and that wiped out the food. Shoot. That's something that I didn't plan too well, I'm afraid. Okay, I think this will be upping the production a bit. I just want to make sure that I have enough cash to upgrade uh, to upgrade Groundwork ships ship Alex H, and you are the other one that is coming. Asymmetrical, yes, that's correct. Okay, good. Let me just borrow just a smidge. I'm thinking even how bad it would be if I upgrade this to three lines because I don't think it would be going much, much more destinations to be honest. I actually might do that. So let's just see. Upgrade if I put the third terminal. Yeah, I know it's the vehicle in the way. That's fine But then I would have three lines and three terminals so there wouldn't be any holdups So you are going to the Chipping Sodbury you are waiting for Upper Brearley yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. The just I want this guy to move. So Alex H. I'll either need more trains to deliver food or I will need some serious money makers, but okay. So you know what? You, Alex H, trot along. And you for the time being do stop. So let's just move you out of the way. Having you shortly running on turbos, I can actually repay, I've gotten some cash, so that shouldn't be a problem. Good. Now, let's see if we can apply this. Great. Now, do we have three, three lines? Yeah. Great. You can trot along on your merry way. That's what I was actually hoping that would happen. But for some reason you never upgraded to the Klondike, I guess. Replacement. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. I think it will be get upgraded in the next iteration anyway. So, hold on. Where are you going? Cockermouth. Transfer. No, go back. Upper Brearley. We need some food. Okay, this should create a, a significant enough demand. And then uh, the only thing I need is actually more trains. How many do I have now? Food line and grain. I would take one more grain, one more food actually. Because yeah, there we are lacking and this one is actually what you are the food train. Okay, so let's do it like this. 
you are also the food train. So, buy trains. I'll take more Prussians, thank you. They are so far running very well for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You go on the grain line, thank you. And are these lines running with full load starting? So, grain at Oakham, you're going full load any. And picking up at Brearley Transfer, what day is there? Okay, good. And here at Oakham, you are also going full load any. Good. And you are the second grain train, right. So that should hopefully resolve the demand a little bit. Yeah, we have a little bit of a hold up because I have badly scheduled my trains. Or oh, what's your production? 190. I think we should actually start emptying you more regularly and that should hopefully So how many trains do we have? A couple more that wouldn't hurt. So we have three, three, and the frequency is six minutes roughly. Let's just run it on the turbos a little bit, see if this would hopefully increase the production. So far, I mean, this is making, making me a metric crap ton of money. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll make one more grain train and one more let's put the lines where I can see them nicely what's the age on this five years twelve years three years so they're rather new no point in upgrading them so let's just now pause for the time being and buy another goods train one two three four five six seven eight you go on the food line And another train we buy, buy, and then we take the goods. Well, let's take a car, steel planks, construction. We'll have to go with you. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Hold on, did I just construct that last one? Was a food train. Hold on, did I just mess things up? Yeah, I did. I needed to actually build a grain train. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you go on the grain train. Okay, and with that thing out of the way, I think I'll bid you all farewell for this episode. Like if you like it, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all in the next one. 
Thank you very much for watching. This is Gronforks signing off.